Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, that is my very, very first sip. Another one that I got to share with you. Let's take another one just for good measure. I'll tell you what. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, wow, wow. Wow, have we ever seen exactly, they played it by the book, absolutely by the playbook, this whole deal. Guys, we were calling for it. In fact, you go back and you can look at Friday's, you know, uh, coffee chat and you see what we were calling for with respect to what was going to happen in this space. We were saying, hey, a correction could be on the way and literally said that if if there's some sort of attack, whether preemptively by Israel against Iran, Iran against Israel, that could be the catalyst to cause everything to fall off the cliff. And sure enough, it did. Now, guys, I want you to think about something. Do you believe for two seconds that that whole deal was not some kind of, a, you know, uh, just happened by happenstance. Do you believe that that was just a knee-jerk reaction to everything? Not on your life. Isn't it amazing? The timing of these things, right when you would expect something to show up, bang, it does. And on top of that, isn't it interesting that most of this stuff that goes down like this happens after, you know, li literally when, when you know, on the weekends or when most people are, you know, just kind of like not paying attention. That's exactly how they love this stuff to go down. And guys, I'll tell you what, if you think that they're, you know, just going to like, you know, miss this opportunity. Remember their big sayings, never let a good crisis go to waste. Well, you got it. I'll tell you what. Mm. Are they ever going to turn on the taps like no tomorrow? I genuinely believe that. We are going to see. This reminds me, guys, of what it was like when we had this whole C thing going down, right? We had this massive, massive dump, and then what happened? Wow, did they ever turn the taps on, and the spending was off the Richter scale, and they just kind of mint it, mint it, mint it, mint it, and mint it as much possible cash into the system that they possibly could, and I genuinely believe that is exactly what this is going to be used for. Don't kid yourself. They have been waiting for it. They've been looking for any excuse, and we have been saying this for the last number of weeks, that they are looking for any reason whatsoever to start turning on the printing presses, and boy, do they have one now. Guys, we know that war is an industrial powerhouse. It is a machine, and boy, I'll tell you what, these central bankers all around the wide world, the ECB, watch and see what they do. You know, the Bank of England, same deal. Obviously, the Federal Reserve, they are going to start churning it out like no tomorrow. And you're going to hear the narrative. Hey, we got to get it out there. We got to be ready. We got to be prepared. This is this just woke us up to the reality that we're not just quite ready yet. And so, guys, we have got to spend trillions upon trillions upon trillions to make absolutely sure that we're ready for whatever's coming. Guys, come on. This is how they play the game. And that's why I say they've done it just by the playbook. Look at where we are right now. You know, and I don't believe it's totally over just yet. I think something else could be coming down the pike. And in fact, you know, we may see another dip down. It could go like, you know, and I've been watching some of these TA guys that are out there saying, hey, look, you know, we're looking for these five waves down. We had the one, the two, the three, and, you know, we're into the four coming back up. But they think that there's another one coming. And should that happen, hey, we still have a position, Judy and I. You know, we took advantage of that dip. I'll tell you guys right there. These are the opportunities. And by the way, if you have survived it, if you did not get shaken out that, and you're still in this space, congratulations, you have just survived one of your very first major dips in an actual bull market. It has been like this before, guys. And more than likely, we're gonna see something else again and it is not over, not by a long shot. I'll tell you what, wow. This game they're playing with us, not over by a long shot, guys. And that is the name of the game because remember, we've always been saying, hey, they just want to inflate, 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 inflate until they absolutely blow this thing literally to smithereens. And that's what's going down. Don't kid yourself. Get out there. Really, really research what's going on. Guys, can you imagine? 
Some of the positions that Judy and I, you know, were able to pick up were already up over 20% on what we bought in the dip. It is truly crazy. That is how volatile these markets can be. And am I going to complain if it drops even a little bit lower? No, I'm not. Why? Because of the whole deal that we talk about, about dollar cost averaging. Yeah, sometimes you buy here, sometimes you buy here, sometimes you buy here. Sometimes, you know, you get a little bit lower and then you buy. And over time, you get up there to a sizable position so that when these things really send it, wow, I'll tell you what, are you ready to see some life-changing opportunities? That is exactly how we played it last time. We did not take all of our dough at one time and thunk, dump it in there. That is not what happened in that last run. Now, looking back over my shoulder, boy, I'll tell you what, when we were getting into this space, I sure had hoped we, we should have just, you know, I, if we had a gobbled up as much as we could, that would have been great. But we didn't know we were at the absolute bottom. But some of these things, some of them we absolutely made killings on, total killings on. And it was not just XRP. I mean, we, we were getting into a whole bunch of other things. And in my coaching, I go over my entire portfolio, where it was, what happened, what we put in, when we put it in, what we did, on and on and on, how we took it, when we took it out, how much we took out, on and on. I share all that kind of stuff. Those that have taken my coaching program, you know. And uh, Judy and I, about as transparent as we can possibly be while remaining safe. And guys, we started to... You know, make a plan, make a plan. But that came out of being just totally burnt right at the very beginning, suffering some major, major mistakes and rug pulls and stuff like that. And weathering storms like this one right here, guys. So if you've made it, congratulations. You have just, you've graduated. As far as I'm concerned, you know, you should get a degree, you know, for what you just went through. Well, this is their MO, guys. That, Like I say, this is their absolute playbook. You are watching it in real time, happening right before your face. Don't kid yourself. These guys, they will do anything, use any excuse. They have all done that. And I love to talk about that quote, you know, and I'm not going to, you know, you, sometimes I tag it in here, but I have a clip. And it's in some of my prior old, older videos where literally the prime minister of my country, Canada at the time, Justin Trudeau, he was getting out there and he was saying that this situation, when this was going down, afforded them, you know, their pre-agenda to accelerate that agenda. Well, they were already working on it, weren't they, before the crisis came along? It's just the crisis allowed them to literally put the gas pedal to the metal, boom, and down the road they went, and boy, did they ever. And in a situation when most average folks would have never believed that there would be any kind of positive result, one of the greatest secular bull runs this world has ever seen, and that's when every industry was literally come practically to a screeching halt around the wide world. They're manufacturing, of course, government services, you know, going out to restaurants, movies, and all that kind of stuff, all those service businesses, even getting your hair cut was a massive, massive deal. And all of that shut down, yet we have one of the greatest bull runs in market history and stuff like that. Guys, I'm telling you, what we're probably going to see in this situation, you're going to see this dump like we just saw, and all this, and you are going to watch it. Man, are they ever going to turn the printing presses on, and they are going to send this, uh, this economy around the world into like hyper speed and just literally blowing that balloon up, and they are going to use it to accelerate what? Hey, their pre-planned agenda, that is exactly what I believe is what's going to happen. And it's going to happen like you have never, like it never has happened before. Absolutely like never before you're going to watch something just go wild. I genuinely believe it. And there may be opportunities. And by the way, that's exactly right. There may be opportunities for you and I along the way to hitch a ride. I don't know if you did this now. Kind of crazy that we did this as kids, but you know, when we were kids, sometimes we couldn't afford the bus. <laughs> and so we'd hop on our skateboards and as the bus would stop to come pick someone up, we'd be hanging under the back of the bumper, <laughs> letting the bus pull us down the street. I know, absolutely insane. You know, as kids, we didn't have a whole common sense, but guys, it's kind of like, you know, you know, it, 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 it's hitching our trailer to their wagon in a way and let them just pull us along. Whoosh. You ever been driving down the highway and you know, you watch one of these massive 18 wheelers, just, you know, and maybe even a B train one just kind of whoosh by you while well, you get in behind them, man. 
And the nice thing is you just, you get the, you get the benefit of not having to fight the wind and burn all your gas because they're doing it for you and stuff like that. And so that's kind of like how I would do it on the highway, get in behind one of those and, you know, just follow into their, you know, their tail and let all that, you know, drag come off of their vehicle. And I would just, you know, and save a lot of gas. Anyway, guys, I'll tell you what, that is what it, I liken it to is we just, you know, we just kind of hitch it to their way. We hitch their wagon to their train and down the road we go and by that i mean we don't follow their advice we follow their behavior and when you see things like what happened on on this weekend that spells opportunity and if we get another little leg down and another shakeout down a fifth wave down as they say i'll tell you what for me it's opportunity but you go out there like i always say it's all about your own risk tolerance and you go out and you see you know whether or not it matches for yourself. Do your own due diligence. Get out there. Guys, you know, I love coming out here and talking with you. I love talking about one of the most favorite things, you know, that I like talking about. And of course, blockchain is practically a hobby to me. And so I enjoy it so, so much. But I always try to caution you. Look, don't base any decisions on anyone else's convictions. Base your confidence on your own convictions. And, and that includes myself. I'll throw that out there right now. Look, if I can talk you into it, then hey, someone else can come along and talk you out of it. You really want to have this cemented down on the inside. Now, the only way a person builds up that level of confidence is to go out and find those answers for themselves. Because I'll tell you what, even if you believe that someone's told you, you want to experience for yourself. It, it takes your faith to a whole new level. Look, someone could come out, and I love to liken it like this. They can share the gospel with you. And you might even say, yeah, that sounds like, you know, maybe that's, you know, plausible or whatever. But until you've literally tasted and seen that God is good for yourself, it takes your faith to a whole new level. Getting out there, getting these answers for yourself will take your confidence to a whole new level, or at least by bare minimum, will allow you, put you in a position to truly make a conscientious decision so that you're not just winging it. Guys, either way, whether you decide to take a position or you decide not for me, either way, at least you'll know that you came to that conclusion based on a rationale that you exercise some due diligence in obtaining. And that's why I encourage that so, so much. And I just think this is just, this is probably one of the most exciting times that we're in right now from a market perspective. Now, do we have to be, yep, wise as serpents, harmless as doves. Absolutely right there. Guys, just hold on to your seatbelt. Buckle up and just hold on to your seatbelt because I'll tell you what, we are in for an amazing, an amazing ride. Well, guys, I sure hope that the start of your week has just been as absolutely fantastic. Beautiful morning. Listen to the, see those birds just singing away. Just as happy as happy could be. Just amazing. Well, guys, until later on when we have a fabulous video for you, have a great one and take care.